Hello, my beautiful friends. It's Amanda here, and I am finally giving you the jelly much eyeshadow video that I've been promising. So many people have been asking me to make this video and I really wanted to make it as comprehensive as possible. I wanted to show you a lot of different ways to use these jelly much eyeshadows. And I also wanted to give you swatches of all the shades I have. I wanna show you how to revive one if it's dried up. There's gonna be a ton of information in this video. I really, really hope it's helpful to you. Let's just start at the beginning. This is the Jelly Much eyeshadow from ColourPop. These are priced at eight US dollars a piece. They are, as the name implies, a jelly formula. So they're not cream, they're not stiff like a paint pot, and they're not liquid. There's something in between. They do come in these little screw top pots. So the originally released shades came in these clear, plastic pots with the white screw top that says jelly much on top. Lately they've been releasing a bunch of like special packaging. So first with the holiday collection and then of course the spring collection and the Disney villains collection both featured jelly much eyeshadows as well. Those were all specially packaged. So the holiday and spring collections just have corresponding colors on the little screw tops and of course the villains collection has the black screw top with the little disney villains logo on top no matter which style of packaging you get they are all screw tops and they all come with a little stopper the original releases had a little sticker that says keep me they don't have those anymore you should still keep them these help keep the jelly from drying out. You can just pull the stopper out and there you have your shadow. Then when you're done, pop the stopper back in and seal it up as tightly as possible. If you do not seal these properly, they will dry out. And that happened to me. I did not seal one of my shadows properly and it got really dry. So I wanna show you a little clip here of what happens to this shadow. It's no longer a lovely bouncy jelly texture anymore. It becomes like hard and crumbly and really difficult to get pigmentation out of. The good news is much like the Super Shock formula, you can somewhat bring these back to life. The Jelly Mud shadows do not come back to life as easily as the Super Shocks do. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I will leave a link below to my Super Shock video where I showed you the basics of repairing, reviving, applying Super Shock shadows. That's another story for another day. But I use the exact same method here that I did in that video. I just use a little bit of oil. I've been using the MAC Essential Oil. I can't stress this enough. When you do this method, use a cosmetic grade oil. Use an oil that is meant to go onto your face. Don't go to your kitchen and grab like a Pam cooking spray and spray it in there. No, 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 no use a cosmetic grade oil. I love this MAC one. I also enjoy the Derma E Rosehip Oil or the Tarte Maracuja Oil. I do wanna give you some options. I know not everybody buys MAC, so there are tons and tons of cosmetic grade oils out there. Just please use one of those. You just take a little drop of the oil and put it right into the Jelly Mud Shadow and then mix it in. I just sort of press it in and work it into the Jelly Mud Shadow with my finger and then I'm able to get a much better, brighter, more pigmented application. It's still never gonna go back to its original state, but this is a way to make use of a dried up shadow. So if you're like me and you did not put your lid on tightly enough and you end up ruining one of your $8 Jelly Mud Shadows, not all hope is lost. Now let's jump into some swatches. I'm gonna swatch my entire Jelly Much collection for you. There are 28 Jelly Much shadows available on the ColourPop website right now. I have 25 of them. I'm only missing three, so this isn't completely comprehensive, but it's pretty darn close. I'm missing the shades We Jammin', Ventura, and Once in Floral, which is an adorable name by the way. And I did order those shades to try to get them included in this video, but they have not arrived yet. So I'm sorry, it's not completely comprehensive, but it's pretty darn close. 
I just swatched them a few at a time. That way you can really take a look at these shades more close up in groups of three or four. I tried to swatch the most similar colors together. I am not able to do a comparison. A lot of people have asked for comparisons with super shock shades or pigments or all that good stuff. That video would be 10 million hours long. <laughs> But I do want to let you know that every once in a while on my Instagram page, I open up my Instagram stories to swatch comparison requests. If there's a shade comparison that you really want to see, if I have the shades, I can do that for you. Just keep an eye on my Instagram. I'm going to do these comparisons every week or every couple of weeks and you can submit your request. I'll try my best. I get hundreds of them, so I can't do all of them, but the ones that I do, I save on my story highlights. So it's possible that the comparison you want to see has already been done. So make sure you check my story highlights because the information might already be there for you. Now let's go ahead and get into the swatches and then afterwards I'll show you a bunch of different ways that I use these Jelly Mud shadows on my eyes. Starting off, we're looking at some icy pink shades. Wavelength and Crystal Castle were part of the holiday collection. Perfectly Wretched is the Cruella de Vil shade from the Disney Villains collection. And Close to You is part of the Spring launch. Now on to some darker and peachier pinks, Morning Light sweet dreams and no rest for the vivid were from the holiday collection doves and roses one of my all-time favorites was part of the spring 2019 collection now we're moving on to some rusty shades foxes and short circuit were part of the original jelly much launch whistlin pixie is from spring and I Own You is from the Disney Villains Collection. Now looking at golds and yellows, Cursed is from Villains, Wide Awake was part of the holiday release, Origami is an original shade, and Photosynthesis is from Spring 2019. Now we see the green shades here. Into Focus was from Holiday. Not Today is a Disney Villains shade. And Bungalow is one of the original Jelly Much shadow shades. Here we see some iridescent purpley blue type shades. Hallucinogenius was a Holiday color. Big Ego is a spring color, and Spindle is from the Disney Villains collection. Lastly, we're looking at the deeper purpley blue type colors. Half Moon is an original shade. Late Bloomer, another one of my favorites, is from spring. And the True Blue, Just Your Voice, is from Disney Villains. Now that you've seen all the shadows that I have swatched, I wanna show you a bunch of different ways that you can use these Jelly Much eyeshadows. I think a lot of people get intimidated by them. They feel that they're gonna apply them the wrong way or they're not gonna know how to control them. These shadows are actually super easy and there are so many ways to use them. That's one of the reasons I love this formula. It has the most amazing versatility. I'm sure there are even more awesome ways to use these that I'm not gonna share with you today. If you have any cool Jelly Much tips, definitely leave those in the comments. These shadows can be applied just with the fingertip as well as with a brush. I would recommend a flat brush with synthetic bristles. I find that using stiffer, more like densely packed brushes works the best for me. I really like the ColourPop brushes. The one you see me use in the tutorial when I apply with a brush is a ColourPop brush. It's just their old school brushes. They used to be pink with rose gold. Now they are white with silver. So this is the same brush. I will list all the brushes that I use in this video in the description box for you. But really, any flat synthetic brush is gonna work. I'm just gonna show you some demos for these first few suggestions. First of all, you can use a Jelly Mud Shadow as a gel eyeliner. 
just take an angled brush, dip right into whichever shade you want, and you can apply this just like you would any cream or gel eyeliner. I don't actually wear eyeliner, so no eye tutorial for this one from me, but I just wanted to show you. It is very easy to get a pretty decent clean line with these Jelly Mud shadows using a small angled brush. Another thing you can do is actually manipulate the shade by adding a pigment into your Jelly Mud shadow. You do kind of have to be careful with this because if you add too much pigment, it's gonna be too dry and it's gonna turn into a crumbly mess. So what I would recommend doing is taking a little bit of the Jelly Mud shadow, sort of spreading it out, adding some pigment on top, and then adding a little bit more of the Jelly Mud shadow, kind of sandwiching it, and then mixing it all together. You could really mix a bunch of different colors, get really creative. You can mix two Jelly Mud shadows together. These are a great mixing medium because of their texture. And in that very same vein, you can use these as sort of a glitter glue for your pigments. So put some Jelly Mudge down and then pack some pigment on top. Now these Jelly Mudge shadows dry down pretty quickly so I would recommend doing one eye at a time if you're going to use this method. But this is just another cool way to work with these shadows and to layer your colors to create your own custom eye look. The next look I'm going to show you is the simplest absolute easiest way to use these. It's just a one shadow look. So let's jump into that tutorial now. This is my quick one eyeshadow look using a Jelly Much eyeshadow. No matter how simple I'm going with my eyes, I always start by prepping with my MAC Painterly Paint Pot to cancel out the veins on my lids. And for this look, I'm just gonna take a little bit of my bronzer that I used today and sweep that really quickly into the crease so that we have a little transition shade there. Then I'm taking the Jelly Mud Shadow in Whistlin' Pixie, and with my fingertip, I'm patting that onto my lid. There's no real trick to it. I just take a little bit on my fingertip and tap it across my lid wherever I want the color to be. In this case, I went back with my original blending brush and just sort of went into the crease a little bit with no additional product. That's it. Curled my lashes, added some of my L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara, and my simple one shadow look. I didn't cheat. I used a bronzer, so it's still only one eyeshadow. This is it. It's so, so quick, and it looks beautiful, shiny, impactful. It just looks like you did a lot more work than you actually had to do. You can also use the Jelly Mud shadows to amp up a look. So if you want to add a pop of color, if you want a gorgeous inner corner highlight, or if you wanna add some to the lower lash line, these also apply really well to the lower lash line. Just use a small flat synthetic bristle brush and you can pop that right along the lower lashes. You can do like a really bright pop of color down there or keep it more simple like I did today. You can also use a Jelly Mud shadow on top of other shadows. So I'm gonna show you in this next tutorial how I use the Jelly Mud shadow, one of my favorites, Doves and Roses, to really amp up an existing eye look. I'm going into Doves and Roses with that same flat synthetic ColourPop brush and over top of my existing eye look, I'm tapping that right in the center of my lid. I already had a very toned down, very matte, not shiny, berry eye look and I'm using this to add a little bump to this look. You can see the difference here. It's not huge but you could build it up to be brighter if you wanted to. This just adds a little bit of shine, a little bit of dimension. So of course I'm going to even out the other eye. Same thing here just taking a tiny bit on that brush, popping it right in the center of the lid and then building it up to the brightness that I want. This is a great way to amp up any look or you could even use this for a day to night transition if you wear more conservative shadow to work. Just bring your Jelly Mud shadow along with you and amp up your look before you go out. And lastly, probably one of my favorite ways to use these eyeshadows is to save an eye look that has gone downhill. As you saw in the last tutorial, you can layer these over top of powder eyeshadows and I'm gonna show you how I saved an eyeshadow look gone wrong using the Jelly Mud shadows. 
I'm gonna be using a very similar method, this time with Late Bloomer. I'm really gonna load up the brush because I'm gonna try to completely cover up what I have going on under here. This look was okay, it just didn't have the high shine impact that I wanted it to. And after a couple hours of wearing this eyeshadow that I had on previously, it was just starting to fade and I wasn't happy with it. So I wanted to try to save it instead of redoing my makeup. Here's what one eye done looks like. You can see we're not dramatically changing the color, but the coverage and the metallic impact is just so, so incredible with this jelly mud shadow. I love this shade in Late Bloomer. So as you can see, it layers so nicely, not only over itself, but over these powder eyeshadows. And I was so much happier with this payoff. I also used the shade Close to You for my inner corners, which had faded terribly by this time. Just packing that right along the inner corner and then blending into the Late Bloomer shade. All the difference in the world here. These eyes are so foiled. They're so bright. You can see them from across the room. That's really what I wanted. And my Jelly Mud shadows just came through and saved this eye look for me. Okay, we got through all that information. I really, really hope that this video was helpful to you. I hope that it could answer some of your questions about these Jelly Mud shadows. If there's anything else you need to know, please feel free to leave a comment and just make sure you keep an eye out on my Instagram stories if you wanna see any specific comparisons. That's a much easier platform for me to do comparisons and answer your specific questions. So hopefully between those Instagram stories and this video, we have covered it all. I wanna know what you think of these Jelly Mud shadows. Do you have any other cool tips and tricks for using them? Which shades are your favorites? Are you inspired to go and use your Jelly Mud shadows now? I always love to hear what you guys think about things too. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. All right. Rolling. Look how cute this little camera shirt is. I love it. It's from Old Navy. Okay. Focus. <laughs> Get it as a little camera humor for you. <sighs> I have no excuse for my mom jokes. <laughs> Old, older. It, it, mm -hmm. Jelly much, more like, can you talk much? That was bad too. Like this, hey, hey. Really has this super, 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 super. I cannot trust this, this is. Oh, what am I even talking about? Does it, do you know? Does it know? Do you know? I don't, I don't know. Now we've got, now, ma'am. Get it together. Got my sassy ponytail. All right, that's fine. You got this. Okay. Cool. Just down in the in the the scripts and box. Pacific. <laughs> Every time I do a video in like a t-shirt or a hoodie and a ponytail, I just feel like I'm channeling old school luster lux, like pre Ipsy luster lux. So. <laughs> Yeah, did I make that weird? It's fine. Okay. Bye.